Hi friends, today it's day 40 I'm doing this challenge and it took me 40 days and 40 nights to get more and more aware of how to stop complaining and how to rephrase uh, something and also how to not engage in uh, these uh, other people who are complaining. And, <clears throat> and when I was thinking about 40 days and 40 nights, and something popped into my head. We are thinking all the time, you know, <laughs> mostly happy thoughts in my head now. And uh, then I was thinking, where have I heard that? And it was in the Bible. Probably you two have heard something about 40 days and 40 nights. It was a lot of information. I have not read the Bible, but um, some of it. And uh, I Google it, of course, because we can do that. And I want to, to read something. I, I don't memorize it, so I have to read it. It was uh, very interesting about the number 40. <clears throat> 40 is an interesting number. The word quarantine is said to derive from it, especially the Italian word quarantina and the centers of disease control. Note that in old times, ships arriving in Venice from infected ports were required to sit at anchor for 40 days before landing. This would presumably give diseases time to die off. So now my complaints are dying off. <laughs> It's <laughs> very interesting. And 40 is also the typical number of weeks, not days of course, weeks. A woman is pregnant before she gives birth to a child. But the religious significance it is its most important. Today consider whether God wants you to use a period of 40 days and nights to learn a crucial lesson and a negative practice and adopt a new way of walking closer within him and god is all also inside every one of us so now we are need we need to do it at least 40 days to <laughs> let go of a, of a negative practice like complaining so it was very interesting to read about this it uh, says a lot more, but uh, this may be enough for today and uh, I'm happy to be on day three and I intend to be on day four tomorrow. See you later.